Hello and welcome, it's Machine Day and I hope you're doing really, really well. Today I'm going to show you a video about how you can add stream labels to your stream. Now if you're new to streaming or even if you're not, but you just want to learn how to add stream labels onto your stream, then this is definitely the video for you. Stream labels, if you didn't know, are, I'll just show you, these things here just under me so in my case i've got the latest follower and subscriber from twitch here on this side i've got the latest bits and dollar donation to me you can have these they stay static on your page and they update as the events that take place on your stream get updated these labels will stay on your stream if you apply them and every time somebody new subscribes or bits or donos or follows you or whatever it is that you've got a label for they will update on your stream so stream labels differ from event lists in that event lists will just show the most recent events no matter what those events are so for example an event list would be bits donation bits donation bits donation it will show three bits donations whereas static labels will only show what you define there and more often than not that's like a new follower new bits donation or whatever it's one of each i have done a separate video on event lists so check the link in the description if you want to figure out how to do that if you do find this video useful i'd very much appreciate a thumbs up on the video feel free to subscribe if you like and if you want to ask me any questions at all check me out at twitch.tv forward slash machine dana let's get into it Okay, so for my stream labels, I'm going to be showing today how you use Streamlabs online. And there are two methods that you can use for this. Method one is if you use Streamlabs, the streaming software, it is integrated as part of the software and it's actually quite easy to just apply to your stream and configure. And there's lots of different ways that you can configure it and I'll go through some of those things in this video. The second method is that you actually download an application to your desktop if you're not using Streamlabs and that enables a text file to be generated and that text file can be read by your streaming software, pull that text data and display it on your stream. And of course, that can then be amended and customized however your streaming software allows it to be. For instance, font sizes, colors, outlines, and that kind of thing. So first I'm gonna show method one, which is if you are using Streamlabs OBS, how to integrate it into your stream from there. And there are a lot of options here, like a lot of options on how you can customize it. The first things first, you will need to register with Streamlabs online regardless of whether you're using the Streamlabs OBS version or the non-Streamlabs OBS version. To do that, you simply visit streamlabs.com. You can use your Twitch credentials or your YouTube credentials to log in, and then it links your streaming data to essentially an online webhook. And then that just allows the data to be pulled from your Twitch and then essentially pushed into the text file if you've downloaded it, or the same type of thing with Streamlabs OBS. So the way you locate stream labels is within the widget section. Now, they do tend to change the layout a little bit within Streamlabs online so if you can't see it on the left hand side just do a search for it within streamlabs in the search bar but you're looking for all widgets and then you need to look for the stream labels widget now here's where you will download the application if you are not running streamlabs obs which will place the text file on your computer and allow you to navigate and read that text file however if you're using streamlabs obs i'll show you now exactly how you can set that up so within Streamlabs OBS, to add stream labels, you simply go to your desired scene, click add source here. So you just need to scroll down on the widget section here to stream labels. Now with stream labels, you can add as many of these as you want. It doesn't have to be just the singular label. You can add three or four or whatever. So we want to add source here. Now, if you've already got stream labels activated on your Streamlabs OBS, for instance, if you've activated it through maybe a downloadable set of themes or assets, you may see some existing sources here for labels, in which case you can just use them and configure them. Or if you're adding new ones, you simply click on the add new source instead. You can name it if you want, for instance, new follower and click add source. So here we need to then now select and configure this to your liking for your stream in Streamlabs OBS. So here we want the most recent follower. Now, as you can see here, there's a hell of a lot of options and you may just pick and choose the ones that you actually want to add. All time top donor, session top donor, 30 day top donor, all kinds of different flexibility that's built into this. And remember, this pulls from the API via the Streamlabs online from your Twitch account or from your YouTube gaming account. You can also add extra cool things such as the total follower count or session followers, the, the number of followers you've had today. I'm going to go for the most recent follower here. Now, that's the actual template there that she used, but you can also add some extra text here if you want. For instance, test, and you get a preview of what it looks like on underneath it. And here's the actual source itself if you wanted to see what that looks like there. Actually, on your 
Streamlabs OBS. Now we can choose to actually set the font and the size and all the rest of it. Now, one thing to just bear in mind when you're setting the font size, you want to be trying to get the font size about right. You don't want to set it really small and then drag it to resize it too large because by doing that, you're going to pixelate it. What you'll, you'll then be doing is, let's say, for instance, setting a 10 font and resizing it to a 100 font, you're going to get some pixelation there. It's better to set it to 100 font and then just make the fine tuning on the text size once you've got it. You can set the font style, such as italic, bold, all that kind of stuff. You can set the font size using the dragger here. And I'll just illustrate my point there. If I set a size 10 and then drag it, it goes very, very blurry like that. You can add anti-aliasing. If you don't know what anti-aliasing, what this is, is it kind of like blurs the very edges and outlines of the text and just makes it a little bit more smooth looking. I would probably recommend enabling anti-aliasing. You transform the text to be upper, lower, or start case. You can make it vertical if you want, which is quite an interesting design technique, potentially. And here's where you can set the color with a hex value, or you can just select from the picker, say pink like that. You can then set how opaque you want the text to be, so how transparent, and you can even add a background colour if you want. You can align the text left or right or centre if you've got quite a lot of text. Not so relevant if it's just like one label. And then you can do other things as well, such as an outline. Outlines can look quite good if you're looking for some good contrast, and you can set the outline size as well, for instance one, and it just gives a tiny outline which can make all the difference in certain backgrounds. Obviously you can set the outline colour as well. You can now resize this and place it wherever you want. And just for information, you can add another source called Text GDI Plus, and that allows you to actually add just plain text if you want, and allows you to literally type the text that you want and the game format this in a very similar way to the way you've typed the labels. Now this will simply update every single time I get a new follower, but I may also want to add other things like a top don donor or whatever. It's up to you. Your creativity here obviously comes into it and it's very much a personal preference thing. Now, the second way of doing this, if you're not using Streamlabs OBS, is to download a client. For instance, if you're on Windows, download the Windows application here within the streamlabs.com dashboard for stream labels, which is under widgets. I'm not going to show you exactly how to do this here because it'll just install an application and place an actual text file wherever you choose it to be placed. But just for illustration purposes, I'm going to add a new text document and call it test. I'm going to go into this test document here and just write machine Dana as though I'm a new follower. I'll save that. We now have a text document. I'm basically replicating what that application does because I don't particularly want to install it because I do use Streamlabs OBS. And now within your software, I'm going to demonstrate it in Streamlabs OBS, but you can also do this in XSplit. You can also do this in OBS Studio and various others. You can add a text source, as I showed earlier. Create a new text source. You can name it, such as new follower. Now, what we want to select here is read from file. Now, selecting read from file allows us to browse to a file file that has been placed by the application that you've just installed. In this case, I'm going to read my text file. And as that file gets changed and updated, the text file, Streamlabs OBS or your preferred software will read the new data in that file. Now, a lot of different widgets are made in this way using text files and text data. For instance, countdown timers from SNARS and a few others. And you get all the same options in terms of gradients, transforming text, outlines, things like that. And there you have it. What I'm doing now is I'm just opening up the notepad and I'm actually going to amend the data here. Machine Dana is cool. That's, that's probably like my alt name or something. Now, this is not updated yet because I've not saved it. But as soon as I save this, this will update. There you go. It'll update it. If it's not updated for you, you might just want to try using the eye picker and renewing it like that, or even just going into the properties by right clicking and browsing to the file again. But more than likely it will update on its own. So that's it, how to add stream labels to your stream using Streamlabs OBS or even using OBS Studio or XSplit or any other software that can read from a text file. There's loads of different ways you can use this. I'm really keen to find out how you guys actually implement this on your stream. Feel free to leave comments and let me know how creatively you are using this. Me personally, I just have the labels on there, but I probably could do a lot more with it on my stream and maybe I will in due course. Once again, if you found this useful, feel free to thumbs up the video and subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Take care.